Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. Fish on the line. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Yeah, I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's... I guess. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Okay, boy. Because, well, because...
because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Getting on. Great! We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> Here, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Are Uncle Arthur. Well? Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Hello, Susan. Okay, boy. Let's go. Any problems, you shout out, Lenny. and died on 
be twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Yep. Mind taking me there? Sure. Huh. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Think you might have got twisted around. Wait, Emerald Ranch is the other way. That's it. Let me off if you keep taking me who knows where. Good evening, sir. Hold on, Money I'll be, be right there. The evening. For those who know which way the skip floats. Mm-hmm. Back so soon? Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah. He spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him riding right the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Hello. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! 
No one's I saying that. I didn't shoot him sleep, and if I did, it was the only way. Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me. Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Uh. this don't put that down if you have any serious howdy what you want yeah yeah 